in 1980, as a young 11 year old, I flew for the very first time. That flight was with Malaysia Airlines from Australia through to Amsterdam. It was a fantastic trip and as a result, Malaysia Airlines has always been very close to my heart. Today, I'm lucky enough to be flying their brand new business class on the A330 from Melbourne through to Kuala Lumpur and then on to Sri Lanka. I'm looking forward to it. Let's go and check it out. Now, Malaysia Airlines does have its own lounge at Melbourne Airport, but it's small, a little bit tired and has no windows. Now, because they're a one world carrier, it means that my Qantas Platinum Frequent Flyer status allows me access to the excellent Qantas First Class Lounge at Melbourne Airport, where I enjoyed a bite to eat with a nice view of the airport tarmac area. Business class on Malaysia Airlines A330 is laid out in a 121 or a 122 configuration depending on which row you're seated. Basically everybody has aisle, direct aisle access except for a few window seats on the right side of the aircraft. Because of this alternate seating layout there is a significant difference between the types of seats uh, and their comfort and privacy levels. It therefore pays to get the right seat selection. I'm going to cover two different seats on this review. On the flight from Melbourne to Kuala Lumpur, I flew in seat 7A, which was a window seat. On the flight back from Kuala Lumpur to Adelaide, I sat in 4K, which is one of the so-called throne seats on the other side of the aircraft. Firstly, 7A, the window seat. I really like this seat. It's comfortable and has plenty of legroom and adjustment options. It also has a basic massage function. All the seats in business class have a three-point sash seatbelt which are used for takeoff and landing. Once airborne though, you can remove the sash. The seats have an adjustable light and there are various handy storage compartments. The seat is fully wide and the tray table is nice and sturdy. When it's time to sleep, the seat reclines into a fully flat bed. For nighttime flights, Malaysia Airlines provides a thin mattress cover, but no pyjamas. The bed was comfortable, however it does get a bit narrow down at the feet end. Now let's have a look at seat 4K. These are known as throne seats and it's easy to see why. These seats have the most amount of overall space, with flat areas on both sides of the seat. This has created extra storage spaces, including a handy nook to put your blanket and pillow when you're not using them. All this extra space is also great to spread out your papers while you're working or during mealtimes. This is the perfect seat for daytime flights where you just want to get some work done. However, this seat has one massive downside. When it converts into a flat bed, the area for your legs is tiny. There's almost no room to move your feet and this restricted area goes all the way up above your knees. This is fine if you sleep perfectly still while lying flat on your back. However, it's terrible if you like to move around or want to curl up on your side. I would therefore not recommend this seat at all for nighttime flights. The Malaysia Airlines crew were very good. Service started with a welcome juice and hot towel on boarding, followed by a bar service straight after takeoff. I was impressed with the menu. There were three choices of entree and four choices of main course. There was also the opportunity to pre-book from a wider selection before you fly. As with all lunches and dinners on board Malaysia Airlines, this lunch started with their famous satays. The satay served in business class in Malaysia Airlines are my absolute favourite meal of any airline anywhere in the world. They are reason enough alone to fly Malaysia Airlines business class. They are absolutely sensational. And yes, you can ask for seconds. How good is this? For entree, I had the Tasmanian smoked salmon, followed by the seared barramundi fillet for mains. Both were very good. That second serve of satays meant that I was full up and had nothing else for the rest of the flight, except for a lovely cup of tea before arriving in Kuala Lumpur. 
The Malaysia Airlines entertainment system is good without being spectacular. The choice of movies and TV is pretty good, but the music selection is rather basic and scrolling through the content is a bit cumbersome. The amenities kit came in a hard shell case, which I'm sure will come in handy somewhere. Inside, it was well stocked. As mentioned before, no PJs are provided. So, overall, two very good flights. The satays were delicious, the crew friendly, and the seats very comfortable to sit in. My only gripe though was the lack of legroom on the flat beds, especially on those throne seats. Therefore, select your seats carefully and you'll have a great flight. Thank you, thank you for a great You're flight. Welcome. That was really, really nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this review, give it a thumbs up or leave a comment. Then check out all my other reviews on my channel. Subscribe because there's a lot more reviews on the way. In the meantime, happy travels.